Yo, 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 what is good? Georgia Picker is back. Yes, we are alive and we have been grinding. Let me let me tell you guys, we've been doing so much stuff with the storage unit. Uh, I got my eyes on two other storage units and, uh, you know, just listing and just life in general, right, man? It's just kind of getting kind of kind of hectic and crazy, but um, but we're hanging in there. Uh, as you guys know, today is uh, Tuesday and that means that we have some packages going out tomorrow and so we have to uh, get them pulled and packed for tomorrow morning's uh, post office run. So, as you guys know who I am, I am the Georgia Picker. What is good? Uh, and uh, yeah, that's going to be what we're going to be doing this week and um, of what sold. So uh, stay tuned and uh, let's go ahead and get to pulling. Alright guys, so we have exactly 11 items going out for $416 and one penny. <laughs> One penny. It couldn't be even. It has to be one penny. But I will take that penny. All right. So yeah, eleven items going out for four hundred and sixteen dollars, uh, and we have some pretty big ticket items, and then miscellaneous stuff, and then kind of like in the middle. So uh, very good uh, variety for today's video. Uh, first thing that we're going to be pulling is going to be one of those auger bits that I got from Trips Garage Sale, or I'm sorry, the storage unit pick, uh, and that's going to be in C three. Alright guys, C3 is right here, and usually the bits are right here on top, usually, it did say C3, oh wow, so this one's going to be in the back, <laughs> there it is, alright, so, this is the auger bit, um, this thing sold for $9 plus shipping, $15 all in on that drill bit. Next thing going on is going to be one of those uh, Marvel Gamerverse uh, twin pack things that you guys can see right here. You guys know I have a bunch of these and I have a feeling that whenever Christmas gets a little bit closer I think these are going to start selling a lot quicker and then one thing too my dog loves bones and he just leaves them right here in my room so I'm going to have to clean that up later. But this thing right here sold for $8.49 free shipping. Alright we got a big ticket item alert. Uh, this is a multimeter um, that was from the storage unit. Um, this one is a Fluke 88V 1000 volt multimeter. It's going to be an L4. Alright guys, L4 is right here and the multimeter is going to be right here. There it is. Boom. Alright, so this is the Fluke uh, multimeter. Um, and uh, it does work. I'm pretty sure I took the batteries out. I did. Uh, but this does work. And this thing right here sold for $180 free shipping. This thing is like new conditions. Very good. I can see why uh, the dude that owned the pawn shop uh, decided to buy it off of the dude or pawn it or whatever the case is. But $180 on that multimeter. Uh, next thing going out is something that I have not sold in probably about a month and a half to two months. Uh, we sold uh, a set of lego manuals if you guys don't remember i was at uh trips first very first garage sale and uh for people who are new to the channel i bought all these lego manuals for cheap 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 i'm talking about pennies cheap um and i'm looking for a lot of uh random ones i gotta find a 7647 i think this is it right here actually yeah i think that is it mission yep that's it right there so this lot of five yeah, a lot of five manuals right here sold for $12.99 free shipping. That is really cool. Uh, I had not sold the manuals in quite a bit uh, of time. Probably about two months, like I said. And, uh, but yeah, this is where I keep my manuals. All right, next thing going on is going to be a Ryobi Tech 4 laser distance measuring tool. Uh, this comes with the battery and the battery charger. At first, I didn't think it worked, but of course, I had to figure out how the battery came out, and I finally figured it out. And uh, we actually charged it up, and it works beautifully. Beautifully, yeah. <laughs> so it's going to be an L7. All right, guys, so we had to pull L7 down. <laughs> uh, and let's see if we can find it. I think this is going to be it right here. Is that it? Nope, that is not it. Like I said, I've been listing a whole lot. So we just got to find it. I think this is it right here, down here at the bottom. There it is right there. Cool. Yep, we got rubber bands around it. All right, but this is what it looks like. Uh, it's just like a little laser level thing, and the battery is actually still in there. But as you guys can see, it works. Looks beautiful. Let's go ahead and turn it off. And uh, yeah, this thing right here sold for $64.99 free shipping. All right, next thing going out is going to be something I got from a garage sale for like three bucks. Uh, so not a whole lot of money here, um, but we're well, way in the green. So technically, 
you know, any kind of money I make from this deal is still good. Uh, it's going to be a hyper tough 106 piece rotary tool kit. Um, it's going to be an L4. It is pre owned. Um, I wanted a $19.99 for it, um, but I took the best offer. Uh, I'll show you guys that in a sec. It's actually going to be in this thing right here. There it is right there. Hyper tough variable speed rotary tool. Seems actually a little bit heavier than what I thought. Uh, but this sold for $14.99 free shipping. So definitely not a great buy. There's definitely not a bad buy. So we'll probably make a few bucks off of that. Next thing going out is going to be a 3DS game. It's going to be Animal Crossing New Leaf. And pretty sure that one's going to be right up here. Because we moved all my games from the closet out here, which is great. Um, but yeah, Animal Crossing sold for ten dollars plus shipping, fifteen bucks all in on that 3DS game. Next thing going out is going to be another multimeter. Uh, it's going to be Cal K A L Equip 3000. And it's going to be an L7. All right, there it is, right there. L7. Yep, Cal. Cal Equip 3000. All right. So this one is tested. It worked amazing. And uh, this thing right here sold for. $39.95 free shipping and we got this from the storage unit so like I said man multimeters have sold quick and we still have quite a bit of them uh, that are that are still listed I don't know how I feel about this sale and I'm gonna explain it um so I didn't realize that uh, it, I've sold I've sold expired ink in the past and I even got a negative review because it was expired I put it in my description and my title but I still got a negative review for it because they said that I didn't expect to to be looking for the expiration date or whatever and apparently it didn't work um <laughs> so i'm a little skeptic of this one but it is a hp 15 black ink cartridge and it expired in 2006 and the thing is i put it in my title and i put it down in my description so <laughs> it's from 2006 it's 14 years old guys i'm just saying it's probably gonna backfire on me <laughs> but uh but yeah this one's gonna be over here all right guys here it is right here hp 15 and this thing right here says Ireland 2006. So it expires in 2006. <laughs> October of 2006. Um, but yeah, this sold for $14.99 free shipping. <laughs> we will see how that goes. And hopefully, hopefully it doesn't go, do, you know, doesn't backfire on me. However, maybe he's a collector of ink and wants it for each month and year. I don't know. Who knows, man. Uh, next thing going out is actually going to be, so if you guys remember... From one garage sale, I believe I got it at 7 o'clock in the morning where I found those GameCube games, uh, the Killer7 GameCube game. Uh, I found a Midland uh, Weather Channel uh, little machine thing, whatever. Um, and come to find out, it didn't work. It didn't work. But I did salvage the plug. Keep in mind, we bought it for a dollar. I did salvage the plug, um, and uh, it sold. So let's go ahead and pull it. But uh, yeah, this plug right here sold for eight forty nine free shipping. So I'm glad to see a plug go. And I didn't hold her on. I probably held on to it for about a month now. And then last but not least, uh, I actually bought this over this past weekend. Um, got a bunch of stuff for like sixty three bucks, um, which I think was overall a decent deal. Um, and this is a Apple um, Bluetooth wireless keyboard uh, model A one two five five, and it's gonna be an E two. Now I will tell you guys this: if you guys can look in the video of uh, last week uh, this thing right here was filthy I'm talking about it was nasty um, but I cleaned it up really well look at that it's really clean um, but this sold for $25 free shipping I was asking 30 took a best offer a 25 yo 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 what is good yo Georgia picker back at it you guys so as you guys saw yesterday I told you guys I was gonna be shipping out packages today which is Wednesday uh, but brain fart it's Veterans Day don't know why I didn't think about it uh, so yeah we didn't we weren't able to uh, pack up our packages um, or send it out today so I was like you know what instead of doing a run on Thursday and Friday I might as well get an early jump on the packages that I would normally ship out on Friday instead of doing back-to-back -back days I'm just gonna do it all in one day which is gonna be tomorrow but today is Wednesday uh, November 11th happy Veterans Day everybody uh, whenever this gets uploaded, it's probably going to be two weeks after the fact, or maybe a week or so, I don't know. Videos have just been kind of insane lately. Alright, first thing going out 
is uh, is a big ticket item. Uh, it's going to be a Harley Davidson 100th anniversary helmet, and uh, that's going to be in the loft. And I'll tell you guys how much uh, we sold that for. All right, here it is, right here. This is the 100th anniversary um, Harley Davidson helmet. I'll make sure to put a you know the sole comp on the screen so you guys can get a better look at it. This is what it looks like. It's really really cool. Um, 100th anniversary Harley Davidson helmet. Uh, sold for $115 plus shipping. So not a bad little flip there. I bought this in a pair of Harley Davidson boots for uh, 50 bucks. Um, we sold the boots for 40 or 35 bucks. I'm not a, I'm not 100 percent sure, which means that we have about 10 to 15 bucks invested into this helmet, and it sold for 115 plus shipping. All right, next thing going out. It's gonna be another Case XX knife. It's gonna be a uh, fixed blade knife. All right, so this is what it looks like. It does come with uh, the sheath or the cover, whatever you guys wanna call it. It's really cool. Uh, it's definitely in rough shape. I did disclose all that. Uh, but this knife right here sold for $24.95 free shipping. All right, guys, next thing going out is gonna be a Hilti PD40 laser range meter. Uh, this is from the storage unit. Uh, it's gonna be an M5. M5 is gonna be right here and this is it right here so pretty much it's just a laser I, i'm pretty sure i took the batteries out um yeah uh but it's pretty much a laser it works uh, amazing it's actually in really good condition uh this sold right here for a hundred dollars plus shipping 120 dollars all in on this deal right here uh the next thing going out is going to be from that uh, motorcycle um store buyout whatever you guys want to call it uh the lady that owned the uh motorcycle shop down in florida uh basically bought all of her supplies out or parts whatever um but uh, a oil filter sold it's going to be kn-303 if you guys don't know where r1 is it's going to be right here and that is kn-303 all right so this bad boy right here sold for 9.99 free shipping next thing going out we actually just <laughs> so whenever i listed this uh it sold within two minutes uh, it is a Casio FX9750 G2 graphic calculator. All right, here's M7. And it's going to be in the back here because it's the one with the cover. But uh, yeah, this calculator right here sold for $13.99 free shipping. And uh, we have uh, $3 invested into this calculator. All right, next thing going out is I believe it's going to be my best item of the day. Um, as you guys know, I got a lot of vintage knives. I got a lot of collectible knives uh, that I got from the storage unit. This one is a Lone Wolf Knife LM18700 Paul Perfect Coco Bolo <laughs> in Damascus. I don't know. Uh, I guess that's the brand, but there's only 150 of them made. Um, the thing about this one, I looked up the specific model number or the knife serial number, whatever you guys want to call it. I could not find it anywhere, um, so I was like, you know what? Let's see what the mar where the market t uh, takes us. I was going to put it up for a hundred, uh, but I'm glad I went this route. I put it up for auction, but let's go ahead and pull it real quick, and I'll tell you guys what it sold for. It's going to be an L6. All right, L6 is going to be right here. There it is, right there. Lone Wolf knife. All right, guys. So listen to me when I say this. Do not be afraid to put stuff up for auction if you guys do not know what the value is. Um, the market, nine times out of ten, will tell you how much it's worth. Um, but this Lone Wolf knife sold for $193.50. That is, that's insane. Um, just for a single knife. Uh, like I said, I didn't know what the value of it was for, or how much it, how much it goes for. And the market told me it went for almost $200, and that is from the storage unit. All right, uh, I got these actually over the uh, this past weekend. I bought a bunch of Funko Pops for $50, and I uh, got them for about $3 and some change. Um, believe it or not, though, a lot of them didn't really go for a whole lot, um, so I decided to actually keep a handful of them. Um, but we actually sold two Funko Pops going to two different buyers, and it's, they're the exact same thing. So let's go ahead and pull. <laughs> so they're going to be right here. They're going to be this guy here with the glasses. It's going to be Keith Herring. One and the other one's in the very back. There he is right there. All right. So one of these sold for 
$10 free shipping and the other one sold for $12.49 free shipping. Uh, next thing going out is going to be uh, another one of those oil filters from the Motorcycle Buyer. Uh, it's going to be 15410-MCJ-000. It's going to be on R1. It should be pretty easy. Pretty sure it's the last one in the box anyways. And there it is right here. Wait, actually. Nope. It's going to be this one. Yeah, here we go. I thought this one was in a box. I guess not. So this one is that one five or whatever you know number. Uh, this sold for eight ninety nine free shipping. All right, guys, we have two more items going out. Uh, one of them is going to be a Barbie surprise careers with doll and accessories. I got this from Trip's uh, uh, second garage sale where he was basically kind of getting out of the eBay game where he sold me like all the racks for twenty bucks. Great deal. Um, but I picked this up in uh, the bunch of stuff that I bought, and it's going to be an L7. Alright guys, we got L7 right here, and uh, this is the Barbie right here. This Barbie right here sold for $12.49 free shipping. Not a whole lot of money, but it is a sale. Alright, uh, and then last but not least, this was uh, very surprising. Uh, it took about three days to sell. And uh, this is uh, another one of those, uh, well, it's my first air filter from the motorcycle buy great money uh, I wanted $69.99 for it they send an offer for $65 and it's sold uh, it's going to be uh, an SU-1308 KNN air filter it's going to be on R1 this is it right here SU-1308 and that's what it looks like you guys right there <laughs> so uh, this sold for 65 bucks free shipping uh, so this is a, a great great deal and just so you guys know I'll keep I want to keep you guys updated with all my big buys uh, from the motorcycle uh, Buy I am now $83 um, I made $83 from it basically uh, in a course of three days So um, I believe I should be able to close to double my money on the filters alone because I have a lot of them um, But I definitely think uh, we're in right we we made that uh, that buy in the right decision. So uh, but yeah $65 free shipping. All right, guys. Uh, so that's everything going out. Um, we might do one tomorrow on Thursday, but if not, we'll see you guys next time. Uh, but just in case we do, or uh, just in case we don't, uh, make sure you guys like up the video, subscribe, uh, comment down below anything and everything. Criticize me um, if I did good or, or a bad buy, or why did you buy this? Why didn't you buy that? Or any of my videos. Just give me some constructive criticism because I love learning new things. Um, especially if I can broaden my horizon and, and, and get as much knowledge as possible because that's my main goal is just to be knowledgeable about a little bit of everything so that's kind of why I'm getting into the storage units uh, one we got extremely lucky with the first one two um, I think it's great for content and then three I like the hunt like I kind of get that adrenaline you know little kid vibe like where I'm just I, I get excited you know so uh, it's kind of bringing that, that that passion out so hopefully you guys have enjoyed those type of videos we're still gonna do the garage the garage stuff stuff I promise um, but, uh, yeah, we're just going to kind of go with the flow and see where life takes us. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, man, if you guys can do all three of those things, it'd be greatly appreciated. Yo, what's good? Georgia Picker. Yo, check this out, man. This week has been insane. Uh, everything from a storage unit sales to sales in general. Um, so if you guys remember yesterday, I said that, uh, you know, we went ahead and packed up everything. That way we didn't have to go tomorrow. Um, and essentially don't have to or I would essentially have to wait until Monday to ship out the weekend packages, right? <sighs> you guys we have gotten 17 items uh, That have sold for five hundred and fifty seven dollars now. I thought about waiting until Monday However, I'm gonna take some initiative. We're gonna ship everything out tomorrow uh, But we got 17 items to pull tonight. It's uh, almost 10 o'clock at night all right, first thing going out is going to be a Funko Pop that we picked up over the weekend. Keep in mind, I have about $3 and some change into these Funko Pops. Um, this one is a Gizmo Duck number 362. And it's going to be behind me. Boom. Gizmo Duck. Uh, this sold for $12.49 uh, plus shipping, $17 bucks all in. Uh, next thing going out is going to be. Long story short, the dude messaged me, I have a PS3 that does not work and I'm selling it for parts and on the very bottom of it has this one little sticky part. He asked me, he's like, hey, is there any way you could take it off, etc. Uh, if you do, I'll pay you 10 bucks for it. So I, I literally labeled this PS3 bottom sticky part. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get it. But yeah, this is what it is. Uh, I basically put tape on it, that way it, um, it stays sticky for whenever he gets it. 
uh, but this is what it is. It sold for ten dollars, <laughs> free shipping. So uh, that's uh, very uh, very interesting. Uh, next thing going out is going to be from that motorcycle buyout that I did. Um, it's going to be another one of those uh, air filters. Um, to let you guys know about the motorcycle deal. We are eighty three dollars, um, and we're well, not in profit, but we have we have made eighty three dollars back from the four hundred and seventy five dollars we have made, not counting this sale by the way. Um, and I have not listed anything else except for the air filters and the oil filters. So just keep that in mind. We still have a lot of work to that. That stuff we're going to be putting on the back burner to get more inventory in. Because uh, with the motorcycle stuff, i got to do a lot of research. Um, with that being said, a K&N HA-1187 air filter sold. And it's going to be an R5. Uh, this is R7. Okay. I'm a little, I'm a little special. It's okay. We're going to figure it out. This should be R3, R4. R5, HA-1187, there it is. I thought this was actually wrong. <laughs> so let's go see how much it sold for. All right, just gonna double check it. HA-1187, yes, it sold for $54.99, free shipping. All right, next thing going out is gonna be uh, something from the storage unit. It's going to be a Stanley Fat Max TLM100 uh, laser measurement tool. Um, it's gonna be an L7. Yeah, Stanley Fat Max, there it is right there. So, uh, this thing right here uh, didn't sell for a whole a whole lot of money, but keep in mind, everything that we sell from the storage unit from here on out is uh, pure profit. So, this right here sold for $24.95, free shipping. All right, guys, next thing going out is going to be a vintage realistic CTR-72 tape recorder. It's going to be an L8. Um, I bought this uh, over this weekend, I believe. Um got each of them for like two two to three bucks all right so this one's gonna be an l8 oh look at that good hands uh imagine if i would have dropped that but uh yes this is tested um and it 100 percent works there it is right there realistic cassette recorder um this thing right here sold for 19.95 free shipping all right next thing going out is going to be this porter cable 20 volt uh cordless drill um, if you guys remember, this past weekend I bought the little uh, porter, porter cable drill uh, with like 14 Funko Pops, um, and uh, I ended up getting the battery, the charger, and the porter cable 20 volt drill, cordless drill, whatever you want to call it, oscillating drill, there you go, I uh, bought that for $12, so I ended up splitting them. For some reason, whenever I looked online, it almost looks like you're getting less for bundling them together. So I decided to part them out. Um, but this one's going to be an M8. It's going to be a porter cable, oscillating tool. All right, M8. There it is right here. So, um, so yeah, so we ended up buying all this for 12 bucks. But this porter cable right here sold for $32 free shipping. All right, next thing going out uh, is something that I've had for probably six months, five to six months, uh, when I first started getting into reselling. Let's see, it's November, so maybe it's been almost nine months then. So yeah, maybe eight, nine months, somewhere around there. Anyways, uh, this is going to be a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 2014 Holiday uh, Standing Stocking. Uh, it's going to be an A1, and usually you guys know whenever I pull from the top shelf here, it means that I've had it for a while. Let's go ahead and pull A1 down. And you boy's strong, so we're going to do it with one hand here. All right, let's see. Here it is right. This is it right here. This thing's really cool. Um, it's not uh, it's not vintage or anything. It's from 2014. But this thing is really cool. I picked this up for $2.99 at a Goodwill, and it's brand new. It still has the tags on it. Uh, it's Nickelodeon tag on it. Um, but, yeah, this bad boy right here sold for... $19.99 plus shipping, $30 all in on the stocking. All right, guys, another thing going out is going to be uh, one of the uh, Robo, tool, Robo tools uh, from the storage unit. Uh, this is going to be a Robo Vector laser level. It's going to be on R4. All right, this is R4 right here. Yeah. And this is what's sold right here. So this is basically just a laser level on the inside. Uh, this thing right here sold for $49.99 free shipping. Uh, next thing going out, this actually sold uh, today about a few hours ago. It's going to be that Yamaha PortaSound PSS-270 uh, soundboard. Uh, I got $3 into it, bought it at uh, that yard sale where we found all the binary stuff. So this this is pure profit. 
Um, I, I, it did not come with a power cable. I ended up buying one. Uh, so we're probably $10 invested into it. And it worked, everything like that. Uh, but it ended up selling three weeks ago. And dude never paid for it. So I relisted it and it sold within about two days. Um, but it's going to be in the loft. I'll show you guys where it's at. All right, guys, it's going to be up here. It's a port of sound bar whatever, or sound board, whatever you want to call it. It does come with the the power cable which is right there it's gonna be interesting to ship this out but <laughs> we got to do it um so probably put some bubble wrap around it but yeah this thing right here is what sold this sold for 39.99 plus shipping basically 60 dollars all in all right next thing going out is going to be uh, one of those marvel gamer uh collector pack things that i have here like i said i have a ton of them i'm pretty sure a lot of these are going to start selling uh, once it good, uh, once it gets a little closer to Christmas, and uh, they have definitely been selling. <laughs> so, uh, but really cool. Uh, this sold for eight forty nine, free shipping. All right, got a handful of things left going out. Uh, next thing going out is going to be Doggin de Guis. I don't know how to say this name. I'm butchering it tremendously, but it is, it is a uh, limited edition Chase Funko Pop number four three nine. This thing right here sold for nine dollars and fifty cents free shipping next thing going out is actually something i listed uh last night or the night before um if you guys remember from the garage sale this past weekend uh, i bought a bunch of um baby einstein dvds and uh some sesame street uh dvds for like kids um so i obviously separated them and lot them up in two different lots uh, but what i'm sold a lot of 16 sesame street dvds um, and they sold, well, let's get them real quick. She originally wanted $10 for the whole set, um, but I talked her down to six. <laughs> so I got $6 invested into these, and uh, these sold for $24.95 plus shipping. Next thing going out is going to be a Star Wars Holiday Santa C3PO Funko Pop, and let's see if we can find it. This one's actually really cool, probably one of my more favorite ones that I have or had. <laughs> uh, this sold for $12.49 free shipping. All right, guys. Let's say hey to Max. I'm gonna get you. What you doing, buddy? You come and say hi. What's up, big man? What are you doing? Yeah. You see all these bones, right? Those are all yours. Well, let me see. You want this one? You want this bone? No, you don't want that one. Don't wag, don't wag your tail now. Here. You want these bones? What about this one? You want that bone? Why well, you got so many bones? Huh? Look, there's another one. Another one. Another one. What about this one? You want this one? No, <laughs> you what? You're a good boy. Yeah, my dog. My dog has a lot of bones. I need to pick them up. <laughs> um, and then, ooh. all right. Next thing going out is going to be that uh, that brother uh, GX dash six seven five zero typewriter. It's going to be an R two. I just listed this last night. But uh, yeah, that's what it is right there. GX six seven fifty. This thing right here sold for one hundred and twenty dollars. Free shipping. All right, next thing going on is going to be one that I picked up over the weekend, a Funko Pop. It's going to be a Gretzuko, number 23. It's a metallic one. Uh, like I said, I got $3 and some change here. He sold for $11.95, free shipping. Next thing going out, um, I bought this for like 2 or $3. Um, it was the same place where I got that green jacket. It was over this past weekend. The green jacket, um, it was from the lady, uh, the Sesame Street stuff, the Baby Einstein stuff and uh, the Ninja Blender, bunch of stuff, right? Um, so we're pretty much back at the green on that deal. Um, and it is the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Collector's Edition Monopoly Board. It's gonna be an E1. All right, guys, here's E1. And this thing is, a, um, believe it or not, believe it or not, whenever I say this. There we go. <laughs> had, to, had to throw it up a little bit. Believe it or not, everything in this thing is sealed except for the box itself. <laughs> so I uh, made sure to disclose that. I still sold it as pre-owned, uh, but this sold for $30 plus shipping, $38 all in on the Monopoly board. And then uh, last but not least, I don't have one up here. At least I don't think I do. Um, as you guys know, I have a bunch of Funko Pops, uh, a lot of, uh, well, not anymore, the Bloodhound ones, but the Lifeline Apex Legend one. Uh, we end up selling one. Um, and it's all the way down the garage, so I had to go down there and get it. Uh, but that Lifeline Funko Pop sold for three dollars plus shipping, so not a whole lot of money. But I'm trying to get rid of them. I'm, uh, I'm tired of having them in my house. I might do a bulk buy on Facebook 
just to be like, hey, man, listen, give me a thousand dollars, you can have all of my. I usually have like five hundred of them, <laughs> so uh, it's ridiculous. So honestly, just want to get rid of them. Uh, but yeah, that is everything that I sold during the week. You guys, thank you guys so much for watching my videos, man. Hope you guys have been enjoying the videos and much love. Uh, if you guys could please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and then comment. If you think my puppy's so beautiful and handsome, yeah, my big boy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, you guys. But if it all seriousness, though, that's everything going out. It's your boy, the Georgia Picker. Like up the video, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next video. Peace.